Hello everyone once again, this is Victor from theforexboat.com and today we will be looking at another very interesting trade setup, another interesting trading strategy. What it's all about, it's about divergence pullback. What we are looking for is a pullback after the divergence has been established. So we see the divergence, we see the market going down or up, and then we wait for the pullback. This is about it. We're not entering the divergence itself, but the pullback. And this is the beauty of this, because you're actually minimizing your risk while you're catching the very strong pullbacks after the divergence. So let's get started. What I'm looking for is the divergence, either bullish or bearish. In our case, we can see there is a bearish divergence on the RCI indicator. So this is RCI standard 14 period. And this is what I'm using for my entry. So the basic principle is to wait for a divergence and then wait for the pullback to enter the divergence. The target would be the bottom or the previous low established after the divergence wave. For this strategy, our entry would be 88.6% Fibonacci pullback. And I'm going to jump onto it and place the limit order to sell at that price. 88.6 is 144.425. Okay, new order. I'm going to place 0.1 lot. Pending order. Okay, so we placed in the limit order now and we're waiting for the price to reach that level. It is very important not to enter the trade unless it has reached. The strategy is very easy because you don't have to wait for the market. Once you see the correction or a pullback after the divergence has been formed, you can simply put the limit order by yourself. And in our case, we would wait for this wave down put the Fibonacci and that would be our entry. This is our entry point. Now, next stage is to calculate the stop loss and take profit. Very easy. For the take profit, we take the bottom. And this, this, this is extremely easy. And what we need is to calculate the spread of the broker, what is the spread and to add to this price. You can just open your window and see what is the spread. Here we have spread of one pip, which means that we have to adjust our take profit one pip higher than this low. And that would be 143.87. Now we will have to place the take profit at 143.87. At the same time, we need to adjust our stop loss. Our stop loss should be two times less than potential profit. This is the rule which is suitable for most trading strategies and it works very well. And in our case, we have take profit of 55 pips, which makes our stop loss at 27 pips. Let's adjust the stop loss. I'm placing the stop loss at 144.70. Now we have everything in place, stop loss, entry and take profit. And currently we just need to wait and see what happens. This is, this is the only thing you, you basically do. You place the limit order and wait. If it's not triggers and the price goes below, again, you cancel your order and you repeat it again. But also, I would like to show you the previous example of the same bearish divergence. And let's apply Fibonacci retracement to this particular scenario. What you see that our limit order wouldn't have triggered, although it's almost reached there, but not. And in this case, there would be no entry, no sell on this trade. We only need the 88.6% Fibonacci retracement. This is not a common level. Not many traders use it, but this, this is kind of critical level. If price breaks above, it either establishes a double top or reverses. Therefore, we are minimizing the risk this way. And we see what happens. At the same time, you cannot enter the trade if there is a divergence at the bottom, formed at the bottom. In our case, guys, here was a divergence. This wouldn't be the trade we, we, we take here at this point. So watch for the divergence. It cannot form at the bottom after the wave down. So there cannot be a double divergence, bearish and bullish. This means that the market is ranging. So in either case, we would not take this trade. And secondly, our Fibonacci would filter out this trade. We would only take it at 88.6. It's a critical 
Fibonacci level. And this is uh, very common, especially in stocks and cryptocurrencies, that the price raises that much. So this would be interesting now to see whether the price will reach soon or not. But this is the point I'm waiting to enter my trade. So let's wait for a couple of minutes and see how it goes. OK, we just have touched our price. This was our entry. It has triggered. So we have an open trade. You can see it's sell 0.1 block. And uh, we are now going to just wait and see what happens. But uh, before, let's let's dive more into the trading strategy. Now, the first rule is not to enter the trade if you have a, another divergence. If you had one divergence and then another, this means this is the range market. It means that the market will be going up and down and can continue. But in this case, we did not have a divergence and therefore we are taking this trade. You also might ask why stop loss is not just above the previous high if this is a critical level. Because price can spike higher, but only close above will confirm it and close perhaps even on higher time frames. And therefore, in order to secure ourselves, we need to place stop loss higher than this level to prevent the stop loss kick out on any, any sort of spikes. In any way, the risk reward ratio for this trade is very good and our entry seems to be perfect. Price touched 88.6 Fibonacci retracement level precisely. This is very interesting level for multiple strategies and in multiple markets. And yes, it, it is critical, as I already have mentioned. Not only it's a critical level, but it lets you filter out the unnecessary entries. It just takes the best opportunity possible, minimizes the risk, and provides a very good risk to reward ratio. Now, at this point, we will need to wait and see what happens. We will get back to our trade in just a bit. Hopefully, it will not take too much time. This is a five minute chart, so you could expect hours uh, for this trade to go. But already we see the clean bounce. This is very nice. This is good confirmation of the of the trend uh, going down. We are back to our chart and as you can see, we are finally approaching our target. Yes, the market has been consolidated for quite some time, although you can see we had a very good entry. And if we go to the one hour chart and zoom it in, price only spiked but never closed above our entry point. So this is what I was talking about. Why stop loss must be higher is to avoid a stop loss kick out. And this worked pretty perfectly because uh, we really had a very low drawdown with this trade. And now let's dive into the summary of this trading strategy. We have traded GBP, GPY currency pair on the five minutes time frame. We had very little drawdown, as you can see, and our potential tick profit is 55.5 pips, while the risk is only 27.5 pips. From up until now, our trade have lasted approximately 12 hours, and now we just touched the take profit. So the profit has been hit. And I would like to also summarize on the rules of this strategy. Number one, find the divergence using RCI oscillator with a period of 14. This is the default settings on MT4 platform. Number two, wait for the market move to set your limit order on the 88.6% Fibonacci retracement level. Number three, avoid trading with divergence forming on both sides. Number four, set your take profit at the previous high or low, depending whether it is a sell or a buy trade. Number five, set your stop loss so that your risk reward ratio would be two to one, meaning that your potential reward is two times higher than potential risk. And finally, number six, let your emotions go and just wait for the outcome. As simple as it is, I hope you enjoyed this trading example on the live trading account. And if you want to see more great trading strategies, click the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. And by the way, the simplicity is the key to success. Till next time and have profitable trading.